Hello students, today we will discuss coordinate system and graph. In this chapter you will learn about plotting a point in a plane and graphical representation of a linear equation. So first we will discuss about plotting a point in a plane. So the position of any point in a plane is always determined by two lines and these two lines will be perpendicular to each other. This first line we will call this horizontal line we will call x axis and this another vertical line we will call y axis and the angle between these two line will be 90 degree. This point we will take as the origin of these two number lines. This will take its coordinate will be 0 0 and right side of this will be positive integers left side negative integers. Same way up we have to take positive numbers and down we have to take negative numbers. These two lines will divide this plane into four parts. This is the first quadrant. We will call it first quadrant. Then this is second quadrant. This side. This is second quadrant. This one third quadrant. And here this side it is fourth quadrant. And you can see here the position of point in this quadrant x axis all the integers are plus y axis also plus. So the position of a number uh, sign of the number will be plus and plus. This side second quadrant x is minus so minus and y is plus minus and plus. Third quadrant symbol will be x symbol is minus and y symbol is also minus and in fourth quadrant x is plus and y is minus. Now we will plot few points in this plane. So I have taken few examples few points and these points will be in ordered pair. Here ordered pair means this first number will represent the position according to the x axis and the second number will represent position according to the y axis. So first point we have 3, 5. So how to plot 3, 5 in this plane? 3 is plus 3 and 5 is plus 5. So first 3 you have to see on the x axis. 3 plus 3 and then y on the y axis. This is 5. Then where these two lines? You can put dotted line also at the starting where these two lines will meet. This point is the position of A. 3 comma 5. Second point 2 6. So first 2 you have to see on the x axis and then 6 you have to see on y axis. 6 from this side. This is the position of point B 2 comma 6. C point we have 0 3. So 0 you have to see on the x axis. This is 0 and 3 you have to see on y axis. So this is the position of point C 0 3. Then next point we have D 5 0. 5 you have to see on num x axis and 0 you have to see on y axis. So this is 0 is common for x axis and y axis. So this is position of y axis. So point will come here D 5 0. Then E point 2 minus 4. So 2 you have to see on x axis and x axis 2 is here plus 2 and minus 4 you have to see on y axis. This is the position of E 2 minus 4. Then F we have 3 minus 3 and 5 minus 3. So x axis minus 3 and y axis 5. And here both the lines will meet. This is point F 
minus 3 and 5. Then next point we have 1 minus 3. 1 and minus 3 here. 1 on the x axis minus 3 on the y axis. This is point G. 1 minus 3. One more point we have minus 2 minus 3. So minus 2 on x axis and minus 3 from y axis. This is the position of point H minus 2 and minus 3. Like this you can plot points in a plane. Next I will explain you how to represent a linear equation graphically. So I have taken one example x plus y is equal to 5. This equation we have to represent with the help of graph. So what we will do we will keep one variable this side and another variable we can shift another side y is equal to 5 minus x. You can keep x also this side no problem y you can shift another side. Make a table like this x y and x y by both together. Now first x3 values we will take you can take any three values positive or negative any three values we can take here suppose i have taken x3 values first minus 1 then 0 and then 1 then based on this we i will calculate y values if x is equal to minus 1 in that case y will be 5 minus minus 1 means y value will be 5 plus 1 6. So y value I am getting here 6. So ordered pair will be minus 1 and 6. Always keep x at the first position, y at the second position. Now we will calculate according to 0. If x value is 0, in that case y value will be 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. So ordered pair will be 0 and 5. Same way if x is equal to 1 in that case y will be 5 minus 1 4. So ordered pair 1 and 4. Now these points we will plot on graph. So first like this x axis and y axis you have to draw put the number over the line. This center point is 0 this side positive up also positive left side negative and down also negative. So first point we have minus 1, 0, minus 1 and 6. So minus 1 you have to see on the x axis and 6 you have to see on y axis. So this one, this is the first point minus 1 and 6. Second point is 0 and 5, 0 and 5. This is the second point. Third point 1 and 4. So 1 from here and 4 from this side this one 1 and 4 after plotting these points now you have to draw line put both the side arrows for this line because this line will go up to infinity and write the equation of this line over this x plus y is equal to 5 Now we will take one more example, one more equation. We have to plot it graphically 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. So we will keep y this side 3y is equal to 12 minus 2x and then this 3 also we can shift we will get 12 minus 2x divided by 3. Now we will take the values of x any three values we, we can take here but try to take the values from where you will get a round of answer. So when we are taking x is equal to 0 in that case if x is equal to 0 in that case y value will be 12 minus 2 into 0 it will become 0 divided by 3. 12 by 3 means 4 so we are getting round value here. So x is 0 in that case y is coming. 4. So ordered pair will be 0 and 4. Now if we are taking x is equal to 1 in that case y value is coming 12 minus 2 into 1 2 divided by 3 
10 by 3 it is coming in decimal so avoid such type of values you can take but try to take where you are getting round of answer same way if we are taking x is equal to 2 in that case y value will be 12 minus 2 into 2 4 divided by 3 so 8 by 3 here also we are getting in decimal next value if x is equal to 3 y value will be 12 minus 2 into 3 6 divided by 3 6 by 3 is equal to 2 so when x is 3 y we are getting 2 so 3 and 2 now you can see here gap is 3 0 to 3 1 and 2 we have skipped so same way just skip 4 and 5 take 6 if x is equal to 6 in that case y value will be 12 minus 2 into 6 means 12 by 3 you will get 0 by 3 means 0 so when it is 6 in that case it is coming 0 so 6 and 0 now these three points we will plot on graph first point is 0 4 x is 0 y value is 4 so this is the first point 0 and 4 second point was 3 and 2 3 and 2 from this side then third point 6 and 0 6 and 0 now you have to draw a line passing through these three points put arrow both the side and write equation over this line 2x plus 3y equal to 12 so in this video we will do this much hope you understood how to represent a linear equation graphically Thank you for watching this video.